Hey everyone, Steve here with Your Technology Coach. Today we're going to look at seven iPhone photo app features that you probably didn't know about. These are really awesome features, so let's dive in. First up is pausing a video recording. So did you know you can now pause and continue a video recording in the same file? So when you're recording a video, there's now a pause button option so that you can pause while you're recording and then continue it whenever you're ready. It will also be on the same video file. To continue recording, just press the left button again and you can also stop at any, any point by hitting the middle button as you normally would. And you can always take a picture by hitting the right button. This is a great feature because a lot of times I want to set up a, a shot, but I want to start it someplace first and then continue it at a different location. Second, let's check out the video scrubber feature in the Photos app. When you're watching a video in the Photos app, there's a new video scrubber, which now shows a dedicated bar on the video itself, instead of being kind of in line with the carousel like it was before. Another change is that videos will now loop when they get to the end instead of just stopping. Next, iOS 18 has added a five second timer option in addition to the three and 10 second options on the timer. Also with the improved flash control, you can now press and hold on the top left flash button to pop out all three settings at once, just as if you had swiped up for the full controls at the bottom. Before, all you could do is tap it and toggle between auto and off, although that option is still available. iOS 18 has added a bunch of new convenient features in the photo app that I'm not sure too many people have picked up on yet. So first of all, the folders feature in the photo app is no longer useless. Folders can now contain existing albums, making photo organizing much, much easier. Even if you've known about the folders feature before, the idea is that folders let you organize whole albums together, whereas albums are to photos, folders are to albums. But before it was kind of useless because you could not add existing albums into the folders, but now you can. So for example, I could create a vacations folder, then add all of my separate vacation photo albums to that folder. This really cleans things up and makes finding your photos so much easier. Also, do you know all those annoying photos that are automatically captured and created by photo apps and random applications? Well, now you can just put all of them into their own folder I've called auto created to reduce all that clutter. The cool part is that the auto generated photos will still find their way to the correct albums. This next one is a big one. There are now new filtering options available in the photo app. Click on the filter button in the bottom left corner of the photos app screen. And the one thing that you can do now that I've been waiting forever for is the ability to sort by recently added photos, not by the capture date in the metadata. For example, you probably experienced this. If you ever want to download a photo, for example, and it's tagged with a really old date of April 2021, like this one, something really old. And then when you go to save it, you're looking for it in the Photos app, it's nowhere to be seen because it ended up getting shoved way in the middle of the date somewhere, wherever it fit in in your library. But now you can have everything show up by the date you added it, which makes a lot more sense. Another feature of iOS 18 that I really like is now the ability to hide screenshots and screen recordings from your photo grid. In iOS 18, you can use the filter button to hide screenshots from the grid. Just click on the filter and then view options and then uncheck the screenshots. And that will also hide screen recordings as well. You can also use the filter option to only show pictures of a certain category. For example, favorites or favorite videos, edited photos, and so on. Lastly, iOS 18 brings another big change to the Photos app. Previously, there were sections in the utilities 
for imports, duplicates, hidden, and recently deleted. But now there's a bunch more like recently viewed, recently edited, receipts, QR codes, and documents. I don't know about you, but I'm always losing important receipts that I need to hold on to for reimbursement and just warranty type stuff. This feature lets me snap a photo of the receipt and store it for later use. So we just covered seven really cool photo apps in the new iOS 18. Let me know in the comments below which features you like more and if there's ones that we didn't cover that you found you'd like to share with the group. Also, if you found value in this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button so you're aware when new videos like this one are posted. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.